This is me, and I'm a noob. But here's a little secret. I have a gun. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean, I have an AI, and he's gonna help me play Splatoon. The main objective of Splatoon is to cover the most territory on the map with your team's ink. You can shoot ink from your weapon to cover the ground, walls, and obstacles with your team's color ink. So, uh, we gotta ink the ground. That's what we gotta do. We got this, man. We can win. We just have to ink the most turf, and then we'll win. You know what? It also said the walls, didn't it? So we gotta, we gotta ink these. Wait, what's this thing? Oh, for inking! Oh, that's... Okay. Sweet. Oh, we're definitely losing. We only got this much. Come on, guys! Go ink. You have to ink. All right, ink up as much of the floor as you can. Okay, come on. Let's get this turf. Turf down here. Yeah, that's a full map of our ink. Just keep painting. Don't let them get more ink. They're getting more control, guys. Don't let them do that. Go. Ink as much as you can. Do we win? Oh yeah, we definitely won. I mean, that's gotta be more ink. See? All right, AI knows what they're doing. Number one turf inker. I guess I'm just the best. What was my team doing? Like, look at their turf inked, and look at mine. I carried this team. All right, so something we didn't do enough of last game was ink the walls, which I think is why the game came pretty close. All we gotta do is ink the walls, and we'll be good. Guys, ink the walls. You guys gotta ink the walls. That's how you win. This whole side area over here's gotta be inked. Come on, guys. You guys are better than this. Look at the map coverage they have. We're not gonna win playing like this. See, look, it's telling us we lost the lead because they've got more ink. My team does not know how to play Splatoon, dude. You just, you need to ink more. Watch professional Splatoon players on streaming platforms like Twitch and YouTube to learn their strategies, tactics, and techniques. All right, I think we're ready. I couldn't find the headband, so I got this other kind of like knockoff one, but it works, it works. It looks cool. I think, I think we're ready to go. So I'm starting to think that Chatbot was wrong about inking because I think what we're actually supposed to do is we're supposed to jump on this tower. Because when the, you jump on the tower, the tower moves, and then you can actually go places, like it takes you places. It's like an Uber driver, kind of. Uh, and you're supposed to like get the Uber driver, and you're supposed to come here. See, like their Uber driver's moving really fast. Okay, guys, hop on the Uber. Get on the Uber. Gotta grab the Uber and not die. They're gonna take the Uber. Ah, oh, I did everything right. I don't understand. I wore the suit and the tie and we lost. Ah, oh, I didn't see the other dude. I can't aim with that dude. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. We're not inking the walls. How did he do, how did he do that? All right, maybe it's not the right idea. Engage opponents. The splatter shot is effective at medium range, can quickly splat opponents with accurate shots. Aim for the head for maximum damage and try to anticipate your opponent's movements. Now, according to my knowledge, headshots don't do any extra damage in Splatoon 3. But hey, it's AI. It probably knows more than me, so we just gotta do it. Okay, let's go. Aim for the head, aim for the head, aim for the head, aim for the head. Sweet. Actually, wait, AI knows what it's doing. Aim for the head, aim for the head. Sick. Aim for the head. What? Man, AI really knows what it's doing. Aim for the head, aim for the head. I'm starting to think that AI might know what it's doing. It's creating strategies that don't even exist, but that's what's so unique about it. No one can understand or know what it's doing. I'm dying. So, I, you know what? I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> oh, sweet. My teammates must be aiming for the opponent's heads. That must be it. There's no other explanation. Oh, snap. This guy's killing me. Aim for his head. Oh, or die. You know what? <laughs> that's a, that's a bra moment right there. Ah, he saw. He was aiming for my head. Oh, they must be aiming for our heads. Dang. We weren't able to get control. All right, I think it's time we move on to something else. Flyfish can be difficult to take down alone, so it's important to coordinate with your teammates. Not sure how I'm gonna talk to them, but I'm sure it'll work. So we got the tips. We know how we need to coordinate with our teammates in order to get rid of Flyfish. We gotta defend the basket. Big shot, big shot, big shot. Taco Del Mar. Okay, pretty simple so far, but we haven't really had any challenges. I haven't seen any fly fish. Nothing has happened yet. Everything is calm. Hey, yo, that's not fair. <gasps> I hear that. Where's it coming from? Hello? There. Okay, guy, you gotta throw them in the in the basket right there. Throw it in. Throw it in. Man, he didn't throw it in. That's not my fault. He didn't He didn't throw it in. Okay, mid-tide. Need some of these walls. This is normally the death of a ton of crewmates. Crewmates, imposter. Oh, I failed on my part. That's my, oh my goodness. 
I will kill more salmonoids than anyone has ever seen. You know, I'm just gonna bring a golden egg to the basket. Sweet, that's a wave win. We take those. No fly, <gasps> where's that coming from? We can't let them take over, over there. There's so many fly fish. By the flipper flopper, really? <sighs> we didn't go after the fly fish, that's what it was. I didn't, I didn't talk to my teammates, we didn't coordinate. High tide it is. It's time, we beat the fly fish once and for all. If the fly fish spawns and we don't beat it, I'll donate a dollar to charity. <laughs> You know what, if I had to donate a dollar to charity every time I died to a fly fish, whatever charity I'm donating to is, it's their lucky day, I can tell you that. That's all, that's all I'll say. The fluid simulations, oh my god. Dang, we didn't lose to the fly fish, we just lost. Okay, here we go. Fly fish, where are you? I must get rid of you. Little scrapper down there, stall him for you. I'm on the lookout for the fly fish. Oh man, this guy, he came all the way up here. He wanted to visit, and I killed him. <gasps> I saw that. I messed up. I messed up. Real time. I thought I had the killer whale for some reason. I don't know why. I messed up. I didn't get the fly fish. Okay, I need to get the fly fish. There. I got him. He's dead. Okay, I have lost three wave ones in a row. We gotta do something different. There's gotta be something different. Each wave has a different objective, such as collecting golden eggs, defending a certain area, or defeating a certain boss salmonoid. I also like how it says to try different weapons and play styles to find what works best for you and your team. Like it expects us to just have control over what we're doing. Okay, well if it wants me to prioritize the objective, the objective is to collect golden eggs. That's how we beat Salmon Run. Woomy, woomy, woomy. Very ecstatic Splatoon player. Frothing at the mouth, playing Splatoon. His favorite video game. Oh, a lot of stuff happened. Oh, oh, prioritize the golden eggs, right? We need to get as many golden eggs in as possible. They ask you how you are, you just have to- what, what is that guy doing? That man had to think about life for a second. He had a change of heart. He saw the destruction of war and just realized what was going, oh my goodness, what is happening? He wanted to go home. That was all that he wanted to do. And there's a lot happening right now. Yes, man. Bruh. That map does not look juicy. That's a terrible description of it. Don't ever, I'm never gonna, wow. All right, night wave time. Mighty mouse. Ooh, every golden egg matters. Oh, I didn't even mean to die, but that's all right. Sweet, good job. Salmon shift with the sunset. Flying off into the distance. Just into a helicopter, that's it, actually. I'm understanding my weapon roll. That's what I'm doing. I'm a roller, I run into people. How have I not gotten damaged yet? Holy. Ah! Ah! As I say that, I just get destroyed. Oh, that's a Kohozuna. Oh, it's Horoboros. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Is it Horoboros? Horoboros? I don't know, is it? Italian or just English? I don't, I, can't, I don't know. Horoboros. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is to me. Ah, darn. Small fight got me. I know we got this. I don't think we got this actually. We got pretty darn close. We got. We actually got pretty pretty close. Try out different combinations of main weapons, sub weapons, and specials to find the perfect loadout for each level. I don't think that's something you can choose. Like there are no other options. <laughs> It's just this. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it anyway. Why not? Mr. Grizz fight in a nutshell, you suck the ink and you throw it back at him. You throw it back at Mr. Grizz. That's how you beat the fight. I'll kill Small Fry if I don't beat my record. If this isn't my record, Small Fry, you're flying off the edge. New record. Woo, Small Fry, you're in the clear. That's the face of someone who just wants to go home. Look at him. He's just staring off into the distance. No, Small Fry, no! Why would he do that? He had so much to live for. How do you beat Mr. Grizz? Mr. Grizz has a variety of weapons at his disposal, including missiles, bombs, and a giant laser beam. Uh, that's kind of funny. Okay, so first off, let's dodge his missiles and his bombs. Oh, there they are. It's these things. Easy peasy. Those aren't hard. You know, I'm scared for when his giant laser beam attack comes because I have no idea what that's gonna look like. I think he was charging up his laser beam attack there. That was scary. See, these are his these are his missiles, right? These are his missiles, I'm sure. I wanna collect all of them as much as I can. No, you have no, whoa, the dead end. No, no, never mind. it's fine. <laughs> I just got faked out. Hey, Mr. Grizz, you can stop now. Yeah, thank you. Can you get your hand out of the way? Thank you, sit in a very vulnerable position. Okay, Small Fry, watch out for his uh, laser beam attacks. You don't wanna get caught in that. This is how you beat it. You launch it back straight at Mr. Grizz. 
straight at him, okay? I don't think I'm supposed to be shooting this way. Mr. Grizz is still in shock. He, he has no idea. He's like, why aren't you shooting me? <laughs> He's so confused. Ah, uh, don't worry, little bear. I got, I got this. I got you. I'll always have your back, man. <laughs> As I launch him into space forever. So the AI has taught me many things. Aim for the head. Don't use your special. Dress up like Pro Chara. And I think it's time we take all of that to one final battle, once and for all, without the AI's help, all to see if it's truly taught me anything about Splatoon at all. I'm sure it has, I'm sure it has. It's an AI, what doesn't it know? Let's go, we got this. All right, just focus on adding, getting headshots. That's what we need, we need headshots. Headshots, trade, I'll take the trade, I'll take the trade, we're in control. I wanna use my tri-strike, but I can't. AI told me not to. It all comes down to this moment. Has the AI truly taught me anything? Did we win it? We won it! We really did it. You know, it's all the AI. Through the whole journey, he was always there for me. But even after all that, I mean, just listen to Judd. He's literally indestructible. But look at this guy. Look at this guy. 